here's a fun fact. When I set my blog up in the beginning, um, I totally used this accent. And I had only experienced British accents from a few foreign exchange students and TV shows. BBC is <laughs> the boil of all British accents if you're trying to learn. Um, this is really fun because it's like 10 in the morning, less than that, less than that, <laughs> earlier than that. And I like to pretend that I have accents. Maybe one day I will, you know? Maybe one day I will go on over. It's actually in the in the possibilities and the plans is to live in Europe for a while. I don't have a definite amount of time because I love Europe and I've seen so much about it and I um I've heard about it and I really would like to go over there and um, it would be amazing I think. My mum went to Britain with my grandma before she passed, my grandma passing. And um, we were actually supposed to go when I was 18, um, all of three of us, my mum, me and my grandma. I know that's not grammatically correct but I said it anyway. Um, but unfortunately that was not able to happen so now I'm just left to wandering and I'm I'd really really like to go over there um, I have friends in Ireland I have friends um, mainly in Ireland <laughs> um, I'm sure some of you live over there It'd be fun I pretend with my accent no I probably speak like a normal person but I wanted to use this accent it's weird I just have like weird urges to use this so I don't know. Anyway you make fun of me as much as you want I give you complete and entire permission to do so um and it also sounds really great when I want sinus infection sound really really gross <laughs> but Europe Europe I would love to go to France and I know that seems so stereotypical so does England I guess I really want to see Wales because um, I'm Welsh and I'm a little bit Irish and I'm very, 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 very British. Um, on my grandma's side, the one who went there, um, I would love to see it and I'd love to... I am more fond of Europe's... all of them, all of the government systems more than I am America's. I love America for the landscape. And we have some nifty freedoms and whatnot, but usually those are used against us by our government system and they override it with whatever they feel like. Um, so the only reason I never, I, I don't want to leave America per se is because of the beautiful, beautiful landscape. And um, I don't think I could, I could leave it. I feel like it's my baby and I need to keep it and cherish it and whatnot. <sighs> but I would like to go to Canada. <laughs> That's kind of the same in some areas. I don't have desert, but I'm not a huge fan of desert. I would like to see the Grand Canyon though before I die. Anyway, France. I like to go there. I um I do speak French. Je suis pas le français. Um, and I'm a French tutor, so hopefully. On my big girl resume, um, that will count for something. I'm a French tutor. I know it well enough to tutor it, so that should be good, <laughs> hopefully. Um, I'm learning German right now and Italian at the same time. Actually, I'm taking French, German and Italian online for free on Duolingo, if you've never heard of it. I totally recommend it and I tell my students this too. I'm like, if you ever have problems that I can't explain, like if I'm not explaining them the right way and your teacher's not, go to Duolingo. So it's free and it's beautiful and wonderful and it helps. And it, I took German when I was in um, high school and I totally forgot so, so much. So I'm, I'm just so excited to learn it again and I, I'm really happy. Um, I would like to go to Italy, yes, I'd like to go to Sicily, um, I'd like to go to Germany, 
I really would like to go to Scandinavia and Iceland. Iceland is like, if I had to choose one place in Europe, that's where I would go. Like, above everything. No matter what. Like, I, the, I'm a geography major, and it's like heaven to a geographer. Because it's so diverse, and the climate is so diverse, and even though it's like this tiny little place, there's so many things going on hydrogeologically um and just meteorologically and just the volcanoes geologically i guess we'll just say that but there's so much going on and it's so beautiful and i've done countless reports on it and i just i look at it and i'm like my goodness this could be like my home i could live here i would live there sweater weather all the time camping Oh, fishing, eating fish. I like fish. <laughs> I think it'd be a wonderful place. Um, but yeah, I'd love to go to Scandinavia too. Um, Norway. Shoot. <laughs> um, Norway, yeah. I would like to go there. Finland. Uh, Sweden. Places like that. So it'd be... I don't know, I like it. I, I'm just really excited. I would like to see um, Portugal and um, Spain. Spain looks really nice. I'm not sure about Mexico for me, but Spain looks really nice. I just want to travel. I want to like get out of school, finish it, buy a ticket to... I don't know. I'd have to... Oh, goodness. I'd have to buy one for England and then one for e Europe. I'm supposing they don't have a... Do they? Do they have an underground thing from from Britain to to the rest of Europe? I don't know. Let me know. Um, I'm going to stop using this accent soon because I'm just laughing at myself. But, yeah, I want, uh, I want to travel. I want to get over there and then just wing it. I'm not a very big wing it kind of person, but I'm trying to push away from my boundaries to try to overcome them and just kind of like let myself be the biggest and greatest person with the greatest potential that I could ever be and uh, that's one of the things just go and travel and do crazy things spontaneous beautiful crazy things okay now I stop because I have to try to get out of this here we go I'm out of it okay um yeah, that's it.